Welcome back to the show where we run you through all the Dolphins news you need to know about. After you through the news you need to know about, we run you through the fan Q&A where we at, uh, answer friends, fans' questions, excuse me. Some good, the good thing is we got some good news. And when I say some, really just one good news story. We'll start with the negative. This first news story comes from Bleach Report, Pro Football Rumors, everywhere. Everybody knows this already. Shattered everybody's... I mean, not only was the loss tough to take because of the implications of that game, but the fact that we lost one of our best players on the team uh, and was responsible for six turnovers this season uh, is it was devastating. And for him to get hurt in the manner that he did, obviously he should not. You know, even myself, like even before that drive started, I mean, everything was going downhill with the backups coming in and messing stuff up. <clears throat> But to leave the first team defense out there, obviously a boneheaded. Even like like I said, even me, I was like, oh, all right, everybody should be taken out uh, of the game. And I always doesn't matter what the score is. I always finish watching the games off, of course. But that's what I was thinking. I was like, these they got to at least be taken out. Thank God, Tua was taken out. He almost got hurt. I wonder if they would have taken him. I'm sure they would have if he didn't have that ding that he ended up having. But to keep Chubb in there, like, I don't understand why they did that. Obviously, Mike Daniel after the game saying that it was a mistake and he shouldn't have done it. Um, and he made some weird comment about how, like, you know, the, the players want to compete. It doesn't matter. You're the head coach. Like, it, I don't really... It, obviously, if someone comes up to you and says something stupid and you can prevent it from happening, then that's on you. Like, you can't just let someone do something... Can't like a four-year-old touch a stove. Like, of course they want to stay. You know, if anybody who's getting beaten is competitive like that, wants to keep you know going. Um, but uh, no, 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 no. There's still a lot to play for this year, and uh, those are the players we need down the stretch. So it was one of the worst. That might have been the worst decision he's ever made as head coach, and it obviously came back to bite him pretty bad. At least he understands it, you know what I mean? And I, I saw some tweets of some, you know, from the usual beat writers talking about, oh, you know, he can't get away with this. Well, he didn't. I mean, he did He did show accountability after the game, saying how stupid. He's not getting away with it. I mean, he, he said himself how dumb it was. It's not like he ignored it and didn't talk about it. He owned up to it. But, uh, yeah, just a brutal game. Brutal, brutal injury. And uh, especially since he tore his ACL in, you know, almost January, you know, who knows when he'll come back to the field, maybe training camp and that's stretching it probably will be deep into next season, maybe like after the first month, uh, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, I mean, to see him go down like that was, and he was playing the best football of his career and especially his best football as a Dolphin, it just isn't right. Especially to lose Jalen and Bradley. It's, um... It isn't right. So, moving on from that. <clears throat> unfortunate news. We come with some more unfortunate news. This comes from Pro Football Rivers slash Bleacher Report. Wherever you, really, wherever you get your news from. Um... Looks like Xavier Howard isn't gonna play for at least for the rest of the regular season i'm sure he'll come back for the postseason but when it rains it pours i mean this is the biggest game of his dolphins career if you played in the next game so he must be hurt you know x has always been pretty competitive and played through injuries so he must be legitimately hurt and uh <clears throat> it's unfortunate um to lose two of the best players on her defense for the rest of the season when the biggest game in the last how many ever years since probably 2008 not probably literally since 2008 when we were competing for the division title that season as well similar situation but we were on the road and obviously we ended up beating we ended up beating the jets <clears throat> to win the division similar situation though um but you know it is what it is like it just for whatever reason we haven't been able to stay healthy down the stretch of these games, um, and, and, you know, I'm all Dolphins fans, it's not nothing new, 
the good news is they do have good veteran players. And the last time this happened with injuries, I guess I think it was against the Jets. I don't think X played in that game. Um, I'm pretty sure he didn't. Jalen followed Wilson, I believe. And maybe it was a different game. But uh, I hope they apply that in this game because I can't deal with Diggs moving around and Ramsey not following him. <clears throat> because at, at this point, like, yeah, the scheme is the scheme, but we have to nullify some of the stuff that they do. Now, I hope Vic can figure that out. Uh, he's a way smarter football you know, mind than I, I am. But sometimes you can overthink things. So I hope that's what we end up doing is mirroring digs. But uh, yeah, especially with the loss to the X. Sucks. Um, <clears throat> just brutal injuries. Next, this next new story is an update on Hunt. Um, he seems like he's going to play this week. Mike McDaniel said he's trending in the right direction. Um, minus any setbacks, this is from his latest pro- press conference. It, it seems that he will play, which is good because we need him bad. He 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 adds so much, and obviously we're never. I mean, Connor Williams is another guy we lost to injury, but um, he. You know, Eichenberg has been fine at that position, but getting Hunt back is a big deal because it helps the run game out a lot and uh, obviously helps in pass protection as well. So to get the O-line relatively healthy <clears throat> uh, is a is a uh, big deal. Another bad news. Sorry, I'm paused. <clears throat> in other bad news, unfortunately, Jalen Waddle looks like he won't play in the last regular season game either, uh, which is a big deal. So it looks like he's going to miss the Buffalo game and the high ankle sprain. Um, or maybe he won't. Maybe I'm reading something old. Maybe. No, never mind. He's not confirmed. I'm sorry, guys. Never mind. I was reading an, an old article. I, I don't really see any uh, update on that. It is confirmed, though, a lot from a lot of different reports that he will be back for the playoffs at the very least. So, at least there's that. So, hopefully he can play, and hopefully he's a game-time decision. I couldn't find anything else on Waddle. Uh, unfortunately, so again, ignore what I just said. You know, and everybody's freaking out. I'd be freaking out too. Uh, hopefully, he can play. Um, against uh, the Bills. Yeah, it's still right here. This comes from Pro Football Rumors. It's still up for debate whether he'll play against the Bills or not. And that was a, as of December thirty first. That article was written. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, he can play. Um, in terms of news, that's it. I think we pretty much went through it. <laughs> it's hard to talk about this game. Um, really, I don't know where to start. It, one of the, I, I'll start with the defense. This is the defense is the reason we lost this game. Similar, this is honestly kind of a shot for shot, shot game, like we had against Buffalo in a lot of ways. We uh, started off really good, like really good, in both of those games. And, you know, getting the 10-7 lead, um, I think, it would believe it was 10-7. And honestly, I th- I'm pretty sure, yeah, that drive was extended. That might have been the screen drive where they converted a long down a distance on a screen, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but we started off really good. And then just kind of, the defense just never, it's the worst. That in the Buffalo game earlier in the year, worst pl- defensive performance that they've had. They played awful. Duke Riley was exposed the entire game. That was clearly a matchup thing for that the Ravens figured out for whatever reason. And not to mention the fact that there were so many busted coverages on the back end. And people just running free. I mean, Zay, Zay Flowers, like, I don't know how 
great play by Lamar looking people off, but it's zone defense, and you should never, I mean, you just got to follow the rules of the defense, and uh, they didn't do that. It led to a bust of coverage and led to an easy walk-in touchdown. There's just too much. Like, the Ravens made good plays. Like, the, the, <clears throat> the Isaiah Likely touchdown, that was just a phenomenal play. Um, <clears throat> Holland went for the deflection. It was fourth down. He definitely could have played less underneath than he did. He got greedy, didn't work out, touchdown. That was just, and it was a great throw by Lamar. I mean, if that throw was a little bit off, then we would have gotten the ball back. And, uh, <clears throat> but other than that, the defense just didn't do anything. One of the two, two most surprising things. The first thing is the pass rush was terrible. Um, it was awful the entire game. That surprised me a lot. I mean, Lamar was never really under pressure, uh, ever, and uh, which I mean is what it is. I just didn't expect that from this from this defense, and they're missing Kevin Zeitler, which is a guard, which you know is not as important. But yeah, that was definitely surprising. Is just the lack of pass rush was kind of eye opening against the Ravens. That and the, just the way the secondary played was just very disappointing. I mean, everybody caught the hands in this game. Nobody really had... And another thing I will say is Mike McDaniel said this after the game. I don't know what was... Go- like, the open field tackling... and There was just so much open space the entire game. Like, the middle of the field was just... It was it was it was really weird. It, everybody was running wide open, whether it was underneath or or deep. The defense just did not play good football. They didn't do anything right. I mean, <clears throat> they really didn't. So whether it was getting pressure up front, couldn't do it for whatever reason. We couldn't tackle in the open field. The screens another great example. People were running short, getting a lot of yards off of it. <clears throat> it is what it is. I mean, there's really, I don't really know what to say about, I mean, this is a team that, you know, is top three in sacks in the NFL. Um, is, it, this unit usually gets pressure, but none of the stars showed up on defense that they needed to, like none of them. And then Duke Riley was just getting exposed. And this is something that the Bills did against us, and hopefully they get corrected. A lot of, like, pick routes on the outside and wheel routes, and, and they did the exact same thing to us when we played them earlier in the year. And the Ravens must have saw that on film because they very similar plays were in uh, in both games. So that's something they're going to have to figure out and get corrected for this next game. And hopefully they, they, they do that. Um, because they just, not only did they not play up to their standard, they played well below it. I mean, that was embarrassing. That was that was so disappointing. I'm ve- very disappointed in the defense. <clears throat> you cannot give up that many points on the road, or you're just gonna lose. Like you have to get defense is so important on the road. Um, it's way more like you could score with a team, but uh, that doesn't take the crowd out of it. Uh, if you can't defend someone, I mean that defense takes the crowd out of a road game, and it, they just can't do it. I know, and I know a lot of people. Oh, the communicate well. The communication weren't, was not an issue at the start of these games. I mean, the, the Dolphins' offense did their job at the start. I mean, even when we talk about special teams, and was another issue in this game as well. Obviously, giving up the kickoff and all that stuff, it just kind of snowballed out of control. And uh, but the defense to me was the most important, disappointing. Because the offense played good football, and you know they weren't getting stops. The defense they weren't getting short fields, and the Ravens' defense is too good. That's not just not the kind of game you're gonna win, and uh, that's what happened. Really, <clears throat> you gotta get stops, or you're not gonna win against this team. And and Waddle would have been interesting if he was in this game. I think we would have scored more, but that doesn't help the defense. And uh, people bring up Raheem Mostert. We didn't lose because Raheem Mostert didn't play. I mean, you know, I don't want to break, you know, burst people's bubbles on that. But it's true. I mean, we just literally could not play defense. You know, maybe if Jerome Baker's healthy, 
it, you know, it, that it would look different. But uh, clearly they saw stuff on film and they took advantage of it. And uh, it was a good job by them. And a really bad performance by us. And against the best team in the league. And you just can't do that. Very disappointed uh, in the defense. Offensively, there are definitely gripes to have. I think, I mean, Tyreek Hill, like, God bless him. I love him to death. But he had a bad game in this game. Uh, dropping a touchdown. Durham Smythe probably, I was like, I was like wow. Durham, I mean, he averaged 18 yards a catch in this game. Devon Achain popped off. He played He played like I would have liked the other rest of the team to play. I thought the offensive line actually did not terrible. The stats don't show that, but they ran the ball on a good defense and pretty well. I mean, they went over 100 yards on the ground, and uh, I didn't think that was the problem. I, you know, the like the one of the biggest moments in the game was the interception by Tua in that two-minute drill. It was unacceptable, uh, giving them an extra possession, especially since they got balled half. Just pretty much put the game away at that point. <clears throat> and uh, we really couldn't do anything after that. Just an awful decision. Um, it was a bad read. And every, that, those were really like the biggest plays on offense. Just kind of just snowballed uh, after that. We really couldn't do anything. Throwing against that secondary constantly. Um, I am disappointed with the other two receivers more than anything. Listen, their secondary was really banged up. <clears throat> like, they did have a couple of starters, like Geno Stone and, obviously, Marcus Williams, but just... I mean, I even forgot about the interception after the fumble. Just bad turnovers um, really was the downfall of the, the offense, and... Very disappointing, like I was saying before. And Barrios and, and, and Cedric Wilson, they got to do better uh, in those situations. You got to take advantage of those matchups. And granted, who knows what if, like, obviously we probably would have scored more points if it wasn't for those turnovers. Because those turnovers were terrible. One of them was on first down. The other one, I believe, was on first down as well. Um, which, anytime you throw any kind of turnover on first down is... Like, just probably as bad as it gets. Not probably is the as bad as it gets. So, nobody on the team played well. I mean, even the best player, Tyree Kill, didn't play well. Nobody did. I thought the offensive line, in terms of running the ball, was... I, I loved, like... I honestly thought Mike, out of everybody, who showed up the most in terms of scripting plays and game planning, it, it was great. Like, he did a great job. <laughs> Everyone else did an awful job. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, what else can you really say? That's really what happened. And it, uh, I'm so disappointed in the defense. Like, what an awful, awful, awful performance. But, um, even with the injuries, honestly, I expect more from a team that has 11 wins in December that has this kind of a coaching staff behind it. It's just disappointing. Um, they should play better than they did. <clears throat> One thousand percent. And now they have a, we have a huge game this Sunday, and I'm so happy that's a night game, and I'm happy that it's at home as well. Because I think our crowds are the best when it's at home. I hope Dolphins fandom shows up for this game. In droves, this is a big game. Yeah, we went on the road and played our worst game of the year. Whatever. We still have a shot to do something very special for the fans. Of the fans support the team, and I, I mean, obviously, not a lot of people are going to listen to this, but it's important, man. It's a very important game. I could care less what happened in this game. Yeah, it, if we had won the game, we would have had the one seed, <clears throat> which would have been a dream come true for for everybody. Still can achieve that. We still get the two seed and win the division. So. That to me is that I mean that's everything. So, and it's a home, that's all I've wanted all year was a home playoff game, and that's what I'm going to be rooting for on Sunday. So, don't really care about just flip this game. Just just put it behind you. Um, it is what it is. Very disappointed that we I, like if we lost we lost, but to lose like that was very disappointing. I, I really disappointing. Granted, Baltimore did just pop San Francisco, so it is what it is. Like, 
and we played terrible, 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 ter- terrible in this game. We could have played so much better. So I would like to see what we can do. Now, could we beat Baltimore at our best if we played our best? I don't know. <laughs> like, we got to get more pressure um, than we did. That was embarrassing. Like, it was not even, it wasn't, it was like I was watching a different Dolphin defensive line. Uh, but again, this game didn't, doesn't end the season. And we still have something that we can achieve that's great. And I, I'm going to be, I can't wait to watch it, to watch this game. You know, Buffalo struggled against New England at home, which was very surprised. I mean, I was watching those, you know, had both games on at the same, obviously. It was a, 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 very, important games and new england gave them a lot of trouble so um i'm excited for this game i think i mean it's the biggest game in, in dolphins you know since 2008 like i said which is a long time ago now over 10 years so i'm excited for this weekend <clears throat> i just hope the crowd is rocking i can't wait for this game and just like I said, I, I I hope and pray that most like eighty percent to ninety percent was probably asking too much. Is Dolphins fans? Because the Dolphins fans travel well, but that's what that's. I hope everybody shows up. It's a night game. It's in Florida. It's for the division. This team still is really good. <clears throat> I'm excited. Uh, you know, Van Ginkle I think is still a, a great defensive player. We need Agua to come back and. Just have one really good game for us if you still got one in him. And thank God we have Melvin Ingram because I would be worried about the run defense. But the fact that he's on the team makes me feel better about that. And uh, I'm excited. Very, very, very excited. I can't wait for Diggs. I hope Ramsey shadows Diggs. That matchup is going to be very important. And, you know, Coho who's played Shakir, there, there's a lot of familiarity with both teams as well, which is good. And especially with Mike, who's such a good coach, this is a good thing because he can look at some of the things that he's done wrong, some of the things the Bills have struggled with, and apply that. And the fact that we're getting Robert Hunt back at home is a huge, huge, huge boost to the offense. <clears throat> Hopefully, Waddle, who's a game time decision, plays. And uh, maybe X can come back from the grave somehow. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, so I'm very excited. Despite the, this loss, still have a lot in front of us. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys enjoyed. <clears throat> and I'll see you guys in the next one.